it's Kieran, welcome back to my channel. So today is Monday the 7th of September and it's actually my first day of online classes which I'm kind of excited about because I'm excited to actually have something to do and not be so bored in quarantine but I'm also a bit nervous because if you watched my last video you'll see how heavy my next two weeks are in terms of lectures and learning and it all just seems a little bit intense but I think we'll be fine so I'm going to be taking you through my whole week of online classes but if you didn't watch my last video you won't know this basically I'm in fourth year of medical school at Cardiff University and for the next two weeks I have like online lectures and classes and tutorials with a couple of in-person tutorials um, so I'll have to go into uni for those but there's not that many I think I only have one this week and then after that I start placement in hospital so I'll be based in one of the hospitals in Cardiff I don't know which one yet but I'll be actually working and learning on placement this week it's just online classes so I've just turned my computer on because I want to try and get onto Microsoft Teams before the first lecture starts because I'm not very experienced with Microsoft Teams so I just kind of want to figure it out and make sure that I'm on on it <laughs> um, but at the moment our Wi-Fi is being really really crap on the top floor so I might end up going down to the lounge for my lectures today because nothing is loading which is really frustrating but anyway today I have two main lectures they're both introduction lectures so I don't really mind working downstairs because I'm probably not going to have to write anything down but tomorrow I do actually have proper real online classes and I will want to make notes and working on the sofa downstairs isn't going to be helpful for that but for today that might just have to do so this term is block number one and I am doing neurology, psychiatry and ophthalmology which is like the brain, mental health and the eyes and it is a very very heavy block but I'm actually really excited because it all sounds very interesting and I feel like I'm gonna learn a lot so I'm really just determined to put in the effort this term and stay on top of my game, be productive and just get shit done. I think it's looking like I'm gonna have to go downstairs because this is not loading. So I've just come upstairs because I'm hoping that, fingers crossed, the Wi-Fi has fixed itself but it's only 11am right now and the first intro lecture was not really that helpful, it's kind of just repeating things I've already heard about fourth year so now I've got a couple of hours before the next intro lecture so I'm actually just going to start on some notes. I went through all of the handbooks on um, Blackboard which is um, what Cardiff University used to kind of like share resources with students um, and I literally wrote out lists and lists of every single thing I need to write notes on basically um, for this block so all of the learning objectives for neurology, psychological diseases and also ophthalmology so I've already written up like half my neurology notes if you've watched other vlogs of mine then you'll have seen that but I have some extra things on the list from the um, handbook that I haven't written notes on so I think I'm going to just do that because I've already kind of started that so I feel like I'm already kind of motivated to just finish that and then the rest of the week I might start doing flashcards on neurology but yeah that's TBD but right now I'm just going to do some notes and try and use my time productively because I feel like the last two hours have been a little bit of a waste but anyway yeah so that's my plan and then I'm going to have some lunch because I'm already getting hungry to be honest. <laughs> guys it is now Tuesday I didn't end up filming anything after my lectures yesterday just because all I did was eat dinner and then I was so tired I didn't do anything else I just kind of chilled watched a movie and then went to bed so now it is 8 45 and I really wanted to get up early this morning and get a bit of work done before my lectures today but I was just so tired so I let myself sleep in until 8 and 
now I'm all ready to start the day. So I'm going to sit down and write my to-do list, but I don't think I'm actually going to get too much done because I have nine till five lectures basically today. So from nine till 12, it's normal like online lectures. And then from one till five, it's small group sessions, which I don't really know what that entails. Obviously, there's just going to be fewer of us on the call, but I don't know if like if that means more participation or if it just means like we're listening to somebody talk to us again I have no idea. Today should be a lot more interesting than yesterday because yesterday was just intro lectures and today is a lot more like interesting stuff about psychiatry and um, that kind of stuff so I'm pretty excited for that even though I'm so tired I think the early mornings have already been a shock to the system and hopefully in a couple of days I'll get used to it because I want to be a lot more productive in the following days but yeah I'm gonna sit down and write my to-do list I haven't had breakfast yet but I'm not really hungry so I think in between one of the lectures this morning I'll probably end up making myself something to eat but for now I'm gonna get started on working <laughs> So it's like 12.15 now and I've just made myself some lunch. So as you saw, I just had two lectures which were one and a half hours each and they weren't too bad. I don't really think they covered anything that I didn't already know, which I guess is a good thing. I guess it was good revision, but the second half of the last lecture was just super boring. So I was actually multitasking a little bit and finishing up with some editing because I was supposed to do that last night and like I said, I was just kind of tired, so I didn't bother doing anything last night. So I finished editing that video and I'm just scheduling it to go up tonight. But yeah, that's all I have to kind of update you on. I'm trying my best to kind of use my time efficiently. So I have like 45 minutes left of my break right now. And instead of just kind of sitting down and watching TV, which I probably will do at some point in my break, um, I'm just kind of, you know, uploading a video and getting little jobs done that I always kind of procrastinate on so I'm probably just going to quickly tidy my room, empty the bins and throw some laundry in because none of that stuff takes a lot of time but it's always stuff that I just kind of get lazy on and procrastinate on so I'm going to get that kind of stuff done and eat my lunch and then I've got how many group sessions have I got this afternoon? I've got three group sessions this afternoon um, and they're all on psychiatry, old age psychiatry, addiction and eating disorders so I feel like that'll be quite interesting I'm hoping it's not stuff that we've already covered because I'd rather kind of learn something new by this point because it is so hard to motivate yourself to stay interested when you're just sitting in your room like my bed is literally just over there and I would love to go lie down right now but hopefully if they're teaching something a little bit new this afternoon I won't feel so kind of bored and like fidgety I get really fidgety when I'm bored and I feel like just sitting here listening to stuff I've already heard before it makes me fidgety maybe it's because I didn't work out this morning I find that if I work out I get a lot of my energy out so then I'm not so fidgety so maybe I should do a workout at some point today but my body is aching from the workout I did yesterday anyway I'm just rambling on now I'm gonna upload this video and then yeah get onto all that stuff I just said <laughs> Okay, so it is 4.45 and I made it to the end of today's lectures. Today felt like such a long day, I am so tired right now. So to wake myself up, I feel like I need a little bit of fresh air. So Harry and I are gonna walk to the shops quickly because I actually got him this kind of like make your own s'mores kit. It's like a toaster with like flavored marshmallows and it's really, really good. We tried it the other day, but we've got some left over. So I figured we could make proper s'mores because we didn't have any biscuits at that point so we're gonna pop to the shops get some biscuits maybe like some chocolate to melt as well and make proper s'mores and just have like a whole fun evening watch some movies and have some yummy food which I'm super excited about I feel like I need that right now because I'm about to fall asleep so yeah that's basically the plan for the rest of the evening and then tomorrow I've got another really full day of lectures so 
yeah, I'm just gonna chill out for the rest of the day. I got so much done today. In between lectures, I was doing like flashcards and stuff. So I've done a fair amount of flashcards on neurological diseases. So I think I just went through all of the different types of headaches. So I feel really good about that because I was really using my time productively. And I also tidied my room. I still need to do my laundry, but I think I'll just do that tomorrow instead. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's now Wednesday, like 5.30 p.m. and I didn't film anything today because all I had was nine till five online lectures and like small group sessions. So I didn't really want this vlog to get too repetitive and boring. The lectures were quite interesting today, actually. It was really heavy because it was all on like neuroanatomy and the cranial nerves, the spinal cord, and there was a lot of information and I feel so drained right now. But I'm also super excited because I. I'm finally allowed to go back to the gym. Cardiff have opened up some of their gyms and the one that I am a member of, they are allowing six people in the gym at a time, I believe. So I had to call up a couple of days ago and book a slot. So I booked one for 6 p.m. today and then one for tomorrow at seven in the morning, which should be interesting. But I'm so excited to just get back into the gym. I'm so bored of at-home workouts. So yeah, I'm basically just gonna get myself ready. I'm I'm gonna make myself some BCAAs and get all my stuff together and then just head off. I feel like this will be such a nice end to the day and then I'm just gonna chill this evening because I had such a heavy day today. But yeah, that is the update for now. I'm falling from the sky. idea how happy I am right now that was like the best 40 minutes of my life the gym is kind of like therapy for me and I guess I didn't realize how much I missed it but I am so happy they are open again I'm so gonna utilize this I've booked it again for tomorrow like I said and I might try and book it for Friday as well I'm just I'm so happy I'm so excited so the way it actually works is you can book in 40 minute slots and it turns out I was literally the only one in the gym and I'm not sure if that's because nobody else booked it or if they are only allowing one person at a time but I'm pretty sure I read online that they're allowing six people in there at a time so I'm not really sure about that but I had the time of my life I was like dancing and singing and there was no one there to judge me if I was doing anything wrong so that was really, really nice. The only thing is I, I would say I need like at least 20 more minutes. I felt like I did have to rush a little bit through all of the workouts that I wanted to do, but I'm not complaining. 40 minutes is enough. I'm just happy the gyms are open again. So anyway, I'm gonna head home now and probably just shower up and chill the rest of the evening. So I guess I will chat with you guys tomorrow. Is it Okay, so it is Thursday morning and it is another day of nine till five lectures. So I'm just logging on to Zoom now and I think we are getting started. So yeah, it's literally the update I have for you today because it is just the same as every other day except I got up at 6.30 this morning to go to the gym and I was so close to just going back to sleep and forgetting about it. But then I was like, no, I've booked, I've got to go and I'm already exhausted. So I've got myself a little protein shake here and I'm just going to watch the first couple of lectures before my lunch break. <laughs> Okay, so 
So it is much later now, it's like 8pm and I finished my lectures at 5ish and ended up just having a nap because I was so tired from waking up so early. So I haven't really done anything this evening other than like chill out, eat dinner, watch a bit of TV. So now I'm actually going to get to doing some more flashcards just because I have a certain amount that I want to get done this week so I want to stay on top of it. I basically want to finish the whole of neurology and have all of that information on flashcards. So I'm going to get on with that now. Hopefully it won't take too long, but I've got all of the vibes going in my room with my LEDs on, all of my fairy lights. I'm going to light a couple of candles and just kind of have a nice evening study session, which I mean, it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but it is a Thursday night. Tomorrow is Friday and I'm so excited because I'm actually going to have more to do rather than just lectures and studying and flashcards. So yeah, I'm going to get to doing that and then I'll probably just chill out for the rest of the evening and go to bed. <laughs> Friday afternoon and I'm actually about to leave to go to my last class of the week which is an in-person class so I have communication skills and I think the way it's going to be organized is it's going to be a group of six of us in one room we have to wear our face masks at all times and I'm not sure if they're going to be bringing actors in but usually the way comm skills works is they bring in actors to role play situations with us obviously with everything going on I feel like they should really limit the amount of people in one room but I'm really excited to actually leave the house and to see other people. I even got to dress up a little bit instead of wearing joggers and hoodie. This top is from New Look and these trousers are from Topshop. I absolutely love them. They're so comfortable. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to head off in a little bit. The session is from 1.30 until 3. So right now it is 1. So I need to go in a little bit and make sure I'm in the right place. But... Yeah. So I got back from communication skills a while ago now. It was actually fine. It was only an hour and a half. We had three scenarios with three different actors that came into the room. We all stayed at like two, even more than two meters apart, kept our masks on for the whole time. And we just kind of did some role play of like, um, depression, suicide risk and like hallucinations and psychosis and that kind of stuff so it was really interesting to see how we should be talking to patients who are dealing with that kind of stuff and just kind of knowing what what type of questions we're supposed to ask so that was really quite interesting and now it is 6 40 and harry and i are actually going to meet up with matt and go for some drinks and some food because i haven't seen matt since march and it'll just be really nice to catch up before placement properly starts so i'm actually going to make a little bit of effort because i'm just so excited to leave the house and have an excuse to put some makeup on and wear something other than joggers and hoodie so i'm just going to do like this like the quickest easiest makeup ever and then I'll do my hair because we are supposed to be meeting up with him in like an hour so uh, I don't want to take too long but yeah that's basically the update for now I'm super super excited to be doing something other than working I think this week has been a little bit of a shock to the system in terms of all of the work we've had to do obviously I haven't had to do that much being at home it's all just kind of been on my terms whether I wanted to put in the effort to do some revision so now having like a timetable to stick to, it's a little bit weird and a little bit tiring, but I'm excited to just kind of get used to it again and be productive and, you know, just kind of have a bit more of a routine in my life rather than just everything being on my terms and then becoming super lazy. So yeah, I think overall it's been such a nice week. I went back to the gym, which I am so, so happy about because I was really missing going to the gym. Um, and I think I've actually done a fair amount this week so now for the weekend I just need to kind of I need to edit this video for one and then I'm gonna be preparing for next week and yeah I'm just excited I feel like this is almost a new chapter like starting 
a new year of uni and having new things to do and new things to get excited about is really a nice feeling so yeah now I'm just gonna finish getting ready obviously I'm just gonna speed through it because I don't want to be rambling on about boring crap so I'm gonna speed through this and then go meet Matt for some drinks and have a nice fun Friday night Between the scenes.